Hello friends! Today's story about a little boy whose worry monster follows him everywhere he goes. It's there when he gets dressed, when he wants to play with his toys, and even when his friends come over to visit. How can he escape his worries? Let's find out! My Monster and Me by Nadia Hussein Illustrated by Ella Bailey This is my monster. And this is me. I've always known my monster. It's always been there. It knows all about me. Maybe my monster arrived when I did. Maybe it moved in when I learned to walk and talk. I don't remember. It was always big. When it stood in front of me, I could see nothing but its huge tummy. At night, when I lay in bed, I could hear nothing but its ginormous, growly snore. I wanted mom to take it away. But when mom was there, my monster hid. I wished my brother could take it away. But my monster hid again. I wanted dad to take it away. But it hid from him, too. My monster got bosher. It started telling me what to do when I was getting dressed and brushing my teeth. When I wanted to play with my toys, it sat on me. It even made me stay indoors when my friends came to play. I wanted to go out and join them, but my monster stood in the way and wouldn't budge. One day, my monster was waiting for me after school. It was gigantic and it was in a bad mood. I tried to lose it. But I couldn't. It followed me all the way to Gran's house. Gran asked me what was wrong. In the end, I told her how my monster just wouldn't go away. It wouldn't leave me alone. Ever. Gran listened quietly. And suddenly my monster stopped what it was doing and listened too. It seemed to me that as I talked, my monster got smaller. And smaller. And smaller. And then I knew that I could make my monster go away. At least for a while. The next day, I saw my monster at school. It looked a bit lost, so I picked it up and put it in my pocket. I stroked its fur and it went to sleep. It wasn't as scary anymore. I don't worry about my monster as much these days. Go to school and play with my friends. My monster likes my pocket and I feel okay knowing it's there. But if it ever feels like getting out, tell it to behave. My monster is part of me. We've known each other from the beginning. This is me. And this is my monster.